Ronnie Garrett with the Supply and Demand Chain Network for AC Business Media. I'm here today with Jeff Christensen. He is with Seagrid and he's here to talk to us today about a unique partnership between Seagrid and Raymond Corporation. Can you tell me a little bit about the collaboration between Raymond and Seagrid and what that's all about? Mm -hmm. Yes, well we're very proud of our collaboration with the Raymond Corporation. We've been working together for about five years and here at Promat is the first time we're actually showing the Raymond Courier autonomous vehicle um, live at the show. So we're uh, very excited about that and we have uh, lots of customers that are already using this product and so we're very happy to, to show it, uh, share it here at the show. I understand this is a dual mode vehicle. Can you tell me a little bit about a dual mode ve vehicle and why this is a good idea or unique in the marketplace? Sure. So there are lots of different types of autonomous vehicles that are used in materials handling. And one of the issues that comes up is how do you train operators to use it and does it have to be fully autonomous? Does it have to do absolutely everything? And if you do that, it becomes higher risk and it's much more difficult to do. So a dual mode vehicle is one that can be driven like a manual vehicle or it can be driven autonomously without a driver on it at all. Can you tell me a little bit about the unique features of the Raymond Courier? The vehicle drives entirely using cameras, so how it works is it takes pictures, you drive it just like you would do a manual truck, but you sort of put it into record mode and it takes pictures from 10 cameras looking all over the truck and it sees everything around it and it remembers all of those things and then it saves that as a map and then you can hit play and it will drive that route all day, every day, but this time without a driver. Can you tell me a little bit more about how you train this vehicle to navigate throughout a warehouse or a distribution center? Yeah, so if I wanted to uh, create a route to have for my materials handling, I would decide that I want to go from here over to there and then turn left and drop off a load or, or what have you. And I would get on the vehicle, again, just like if it is a, uh, a manually driven truck, put it in record mode and I would drive it and just tell it where I want it to go. I can create a route here, I can add segments to that route network later, I can grow my uh, autonomous route network over time, and what that means is I can grow how I am moving my materials autonomously incrementally over time. I don't have to do my whole facility all at once, I can do just a little bit at a time and then grow to do another part of it, but it's all based on just manually driving the vehicle and recording what it sees. Thank you. Um, what are some of the applications that you see for this vehicle? Well, in distribution and fulfillment and manufacturing, we see lots of movement for autonomous materials handling. So in manufacturing, we are working three shifts a day, seven days a week, bringing parts to line for assembly, lands and in assembly plants and production. And in distribution, we are bringing product from dock to put away and from storage uh, to outbound and everywhere in between. So there, anywhere that you can move a uh, manual product, you can now be doing it autonomously. Thank you. And what do you see as the future for vehicles like this in the marketplace? Well, I think that the future is very bright for autonomous materials handling. Uh, I think if you, we build upon manual vehicle chassis like the Raymond Courier, where you can have dual mode use and you have it's very, very simple to train it to be autonomous and do this today and do something different tomorrow and be extremely flexible with the way that you do autonomy. I think that you will see in the next year, five years, ten years, a great deal of materials handling is going to be done through a mobile autonomous unit like this. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it.